Welcome back to Babby's House. I want to introduce you to my guest today. He is a writer. He's the author of a powerful book. I cannot wait to talk to you about it called Teaching Christians to Pray the Bible Way. He is also a singer and a songwriter. He's a very prolific writer. I want you to meet Nate Fortner. Welcome to Babby's House, my friend. Thank you, Babby. Glad to be here. I'm glad to have you on the show. Nate, to be such a young man, you're very prolific and you are, are constantly writing. You're constantly writing songs and, and books and devotionals. And So tell us how you got started, about how old were you when you began to write and that you knew that God had given you something to say through your writing? Well, I was uh, about 12 years old when I really knew that God was calling me to do something different. Uh, while all my friends were going out and doing everything else that they were doing, I just I felt like God was calling me out to be somebody different, to do something different. And I started reading the Bible. I started studying really hard and really felt like God was calling me to preach. But I didn't have a platform. I was a kid. Uh, I was young. And, and so I started writing. And I started singing, and I've got I've got little journals where I had doodled little stories, you know, That's uh, powerful. as a kid. You told me that even as a young single man, you're still a single man. But one of the earlier devotionals that you wrote, wrote or Bible studies that you wrote, was for your mom, uh, who, who was married, That's and you right. wrote it on marriage. That's right. Even as a young single person. That's so right. So talk to me about that. Well, my mom and dad had been going through some struggles, and uh, my mom called me one day, and she was she's a very godly woman, and she had called me, but she says, Nate, uh, she says, I know you that you've you've been called to preach, and now you're you're preaching in the church, and, and God is just opening doors for you, but I need to know uh, what more the Bible says about marriage. She says, I'm just really having a, a tough time with your dad. And uh, so I'd done a Bible study on marriage. Uh, it turned out it was about 15, 20 pages was all just wow. real small. I'd done it on my computer yes. and printed it out and made a fancy little cover for it that I thought was oh, awesome and wow. and took it to uh, and sent it to her and she just she loved it. Praise God. That's amazing when you can speak to your own family members. That's right. Well, you're the author of Teaching Christians to Pray the Bible Way. What do you mean by the Bible way? We have to come into agreement with God's Word. We have to come into agreement with the Scripture. So many times we pray, and it sounds like we're just... Uh just throwing out like a, a cheap grocery store list. Mm -hmm. And that's not how God is. God yes. is not a grocery store. You can't come to Him. God is not a vending machine. You can't go in and, and say a little prayer, so, uh, so to speak, as putting a quarter into a machine and say, God, I, give me, give me, give me, because it doesn't work like that. We have to come to God on His terms. Mm -hmm. We have to come in, we have to come in through Scripture. we got to be praying that Scripture. we got to know the authority that we have as a child of God to even use the very name of Jesus. Yes. Can you give me an example? Uh, you, you, you teach it or, or you expound on uh, in your book called Teaching Christians to Pray the Bible Way, how to pray the Word, how to pray God's words. Can you get, Can you demonstrate yes, that? Yes, absolutely, because the Bible says uh, that this right here, our tongue, uh, we have the ability as Christians to be able to speak life or death mm -hmm. with our tongue. Yes. And, and how much more powerful is it that we, that we would choose to speak life? Hallelujah. That we would choose with yes. our tongue... Yes. Which the Bible says there's no good thing comes from it. You know, but we have the tongue that we can use to speak life. Yes. And what better way to speak life than to come into agreement with God's word by speaking the word. Because the word is alive and active of its own. Yes. Even if we just read it aloud. Yes. And so all you've got to do is in your prayer time, you could be in your, your secret place, your prayer closet, and you just say, just for example, uh, John 3.16. You know, you could be in your prayer time and you're just coming in there before a holy God. You know, Father God, you know, we come to you. We know that your word says in John 3, 16, that you love this world so much that you sent your one and only begotten son to this earth to die for, for me. Yes. That if I or my brother or my sister or my cousin, my family would, would call upon your name. That whosoever would call on your name shall be saved. Yes. Lord, and you, and you could just say, Lord, I thank you because I stand on this promise that that, that lost loved one in my family will come to know you yes. before it is everlasting too late. And you know, I love to, as I'm praying God's word, if there is a if there is a proper noun or a pronoun, a personal pronoun, I put my name in that blank. 
No, absolutely. And, and, and for, for for example, for God so loved Babby. Come on. Amen. That he gave his only begotten son that if Babby believes in him, Babby would not perish. But Babby, hallelujah, thank you, God, that Babby could have everlasting life. That's right. And uh, to speak God's word and and just claim that promise for myself. Well, you also talk about praying the names of God. Yes. Now, talk about that. Praying the names of God. I mean, the Bible, uh, Jesus said, anything that you ask in my name, wow. it will be given. Yes. I mean, what a promise that he gives to us. Yes. So when we come in and we're, we're needing, we're seeking God's uh, guidance uh, for healing or, or uh, something we need... Uh, maybe you're in a financial situation and you're praying to God, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. Yes. You know, he is Jehovah Jireh. Yes, he is. That means he's our provider. That's right. And we can call upon him. We can use this thing right here, our tongue. We can come into agreement with God's word and we can even call upon him by name as Jehovah Jireh. Say, Jehovah Jireh, God, my provider. Mm -hmm. I know that you're going to provide for my needs for my family today. Yes. You know, and for those who are, who may be sick, are going through a really tough time. You you may you know the devil may have thrown up so many blinders, making you feel like there's no way out. But my God, there he can get to us. And there's no earthly wall or containment that can keep him from getting to us. Amen. He proved that when he appeared in the room with the disciples when the doors were closed, and the Bible says, and you could be calling out. I mean, there may be somebody that's in that hospital bed. That man yes. watching this program. Yes. And, and I just have to tell him there is a Jehovah Rapha Hallelujah. who is healer. Yes, right. He is who, able to all, heal. all they have to do is just call out that name Jehovah Rapha and he hears their prayer. Yes. Well, Nate, you are a fine preacher, my brother. Hello. Oh, whew, I, I, I might get started I here. So you better go <laughs> and preach this thing, boy. Amen. Well, see, so you're a young preacher, you're an author, and not only that, you sing. And you write, and you work with my good friend David Cook at the Artist Music Guild. I do. And he is helping so many young artists such as you to uh, get your message out there, the message of the gospel and your beautiful music. You're going to sing for us in, in our next segment. Tell us what you're going to sing for us today. Uh, I'm going to sing a, a, an original song, two originals. It's called The Scar That Held My Name. And the second one's going to be called The Dust of His Feet. Beautiful. I cannot wait to hear you sing. And I want you to tell our audience how we can contact you because they may want more information on your beautiful book, Teaching Christians to Pray the Bible Way, and how to get your music. Tell us how we can contact you. Uh, they can go to my website at natefortner.com. Uh, and they can also uh, friend me on Facebook. I've got a fan page on there. They can follow me on Twitter. And I'm all over the place. Yes. Well, in our final moments that we have in this interview, is there one last word of encouragement that you want people to know? Uh, as, as far as praying God's word. Never give up. Mm. No matter how desperate the situation may be. Uh, and, and you think that God, and you think that you're throwing up your prayers and your prayers aren't getting past the ceiling. Let me tell you this, there is a set of scripture where the Bible says uh, Jesus had been crucified and he comes back in to the, the room after his resurrection in his glorified resurrected body appears in the midst of his disciples and he says, fear not. He says, peace be unto you. Yes. But the thing is, eight days previous, he had been in that room, but the disciples uh, didn't see him. The this first group did, but Thomas wasn't there. Thomas didn't get to see him. Well, I'll tell you what, my friend. You are a great man of the word. Keep it up. Don't you give up as well because we need you. This generation needs you. And thank God that he is raising up young men like you to continue to preach the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks for coming to Babby's house. Good to be here. Can't wait to hear you sing. Thank you. And you stick around because after this break, Nate Fortner is going to bless your life. Stay tuned. After this break, we're coming back with more Babby's house. <laughs> to Babby's House before Nate Fortner sings for us. I want you to know that he is the editor of the AMG Express. It's an online publication of the Artist Music Guild talking about up and coming artists, interviews, and highlights of their life and their ministry. So you can contact Nate Fortner at natefortner.com to get more information about that. Well, we're going to pitch to him now at the music set. Will you help me to welcome back to Babby's House, Nate Fortner.
Absolutely. And thank you, my good friends, for joining us here on Babby's House. It's always a joy to have you, and I hope you'll tune in again. And in the meantime, will you go online and check out our website at babby.com and all the things that are going on at Babby Mason Ministries, singing and writing and Bible studies for women. Also, Babby Mason Radio. You can check it all out there at babby.com. Well, the Lord bless you. Tune in again, will you? I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.